<laughs> and also, David Pep- Tepper in this game was so frustrated that he threw a beer at a Jags fan. <laughs> so the owner of a professional franchise, a hedge yeah. fund manager turned owner, threw a beer at a Duval County native in this game yeah he should be drug tested like if we're gonna drug test players and see cd lamb had such a good game that he got drug tested after the cowboys game i'm like if you do something equally as stupid in the other direction where cd lamb's greatness and then he did something all time stupid where he dumps a beer it's like okay can we test this guy for coke at that point because he was a hedge fund manager i've walked i've i've watched wolf of wall street you've probably watched wolf of wall street i know you love that movie it's like all right, bud, where are you hiding those quaaludes? Yeah, where are the <laughs> quaaludes? Get him out of here. It's it's assessing his judgment here. Maybe he's on the full legal dose of Adderall or something. Yeah. Something is not right with David Tepper. I mean, it's on you know, we lose Dan Schneider, we gain David Tepper. But like at the same time, it's like if a player did that, say Tyree Kill throws a beer at someone. He gets fine. He gets fine. Was mm-hmm. anything happened to David Tepper? Not that I know of. No, you should lose a draft pick yeah sorry like if you're gonna throw a beer at someone like how stupid are you at that point it's like you can't control your emotions you're enough. a billionaire you're, you're in, literally in a press bar. you're in a suite yeah in florida yeah in jacksonville beautiful weather it's winter time i would yeah to be in florida right now or in like new england it's pretty cold like you're in florida like just chill out you know you suck you yeah. made one of the worst trades in nfl history at this point you drafted the wrong guy you hired the wrong coach like this is all your fault why are you throwing it at a jags fan when you're losing to cj bethard you should be pouring beer on yourself at this point it also shows how thin skinned he is think yeah. about it like <laughs> you're a billionaire who has accomplished a lot in his life i don't know whether or not he came from money but if he you know if he didn't he earned his money right yeah and then for someone to insult your shitty team that you assembled and that's enough for you to crumble and throw a beer at it. Like, dude, you're like in your sixties. Come on now. You're yeah. acting like a 14 year old. Yeah. It's like someone like if I had that much money, like I feel like not a lot would really bother me. And I feel like the same, like you'd be like, okay, what are you going to do? I have a billion dollars and I own an NFL team. Yeah. Even like, if it's the worst NFL team, like I still own an NFL team. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> think about, you know, you wake up in the morning and you, like, you know, you have your money, you have your team, you have your wife, you have your kids and everything. You have your harem. Yeah, you have your harem. You have your mistress probably somewhere in a different state. Like, I feel like you're winning if yeah. you're a billionaire. You're fine. <laughs> You've got your Bugatti. Yeah, you got your Bugatti. Your sparkling you're, water. You're doing okay. You, maybe drink, you, you drink liquid death every day. Maybe you have 100 Bitcoin in your wallet. Who knows? Like, either way, like, <laughs> you're fine. You're a billionaire. You've won. You've won. You don't need, like, somebody shits on you. All right. You well, beat life. Yeah. You, you've <laughs> won the game of life. You're going to have inheritance money for the rest of, probably the rest of time before the world crumbles in on itself. 